I want to make a short video today and talk about humidifying your home. Now, modern homes, from what I understand, have a lot of them have built in humidifiers that are tapped into a water line, which would be ideal. If I had the opportunity to have that, I would now. Now that I've been using humidifiers for two winters, and it has made an enormous difference in my, in my health, in the health of my skin, just the overall benefits of keeping your home humid. Basically, I think ideal is 50% humidity. So in the summer, of course, often you have plenty of humidity, which is why you don't always need to use it in the summer, depending on where you are and what the weather is. But in the winter, when the dry heat is in the house, it is causing the humidity to be very low. So I run this humidi humidifier in my room, and I run one in the other part of the house near the intake for the um, air condition and heating unit so it seems to be working pretty well and like I said I, I had really I struggled a lot with dry skin like my skin was so dry and I just could not get relief from it and when I started doing this now I have no problems whatsoever with dry skin at all um, even when I'm having to use a lot of heat, I just keep the humidifiers full of water and if I need to, I use a little bit of rose water to humidify my skin. If you use rose water, make sure you get the kind that only has rose water in it. I don't use the one that also has other additives in it because just for personal reasons, but if you get one with glycerin in it and you spray it on your face, even though glycerin is not an oil, it might break it out. It does me. So I have to just use plain rose water, but it works great and I love it. So yeah, that's my tip for the day. Ro um, humidify your home. Uh, if you want to stay well, and you can look up a lot of detailed information about how it keeps you healthy, but basically it it really helps with your immunity and contraction of, of colds and viruses and things like that. So look into it.